Hello everybody. Uh, it is me, Dr. Omer, and uh, today I'm going to teach you how you can analyze a beam, frame, and truss uh, on SAP 2014. Well, uh, the purpose of this lecture is basically uh, to make students aware with the, some structural analysis problems of indeterminate structures which you cannot do using uh, like the other calculations of course you can do for small indeterminate structures but if uh, the indeterminate structure has a higher degree of indeterminacy then you have to use some computer edit analysis um, in this regard there are many softwares available in the market you know uh, those who are uh, in touch with the recent developments in the computer edit analysis that <coughs> uh, like you have SAP you have uh, STAT you have Abacus, you have Diana, you have ANSYS. So Abacus, Diana, and ANSYS, they are basically some advanced level softwares which gives you even the details of uh, geometry and uh, deformations. And even you can go for the non-linear behavior of the materials. Well, uh, because uh, this lecture is more uh, suitable for the uh, undergraduate students who are basically struggling with the analysis problems of indeterminate structures okay so in this uh, lecture I have one sample uh, problem for example I have selected the chapter 7 which is basically the approximate analysis of statically indeterminate structures so in this chapter we have like trusses we have uh, portal frames and trusses and we have some beams as well so let me go to the problems yes here so here we can see many different types of problems like we have uh, lateral loads uh, on, on this frame and we have uh, some multi-story frames and here if you see the question saying draw the moment diagram for the girder P Q R S T. I I mean the, the first uh, beam the continuous beam at the top of the floor and uh, similarly there are some more uh, problems which we can see later on but uh, for the time being I, I just start with the problem either 744 or 746 I think uh, both are uh, almost same but uh, the difference is in the height and the units. Well, let's go for the problem 746 because I'm more ori oriented towards the system SI or the metric units. And the same I have taught in the class. And here we can also see the properties of the section that what are the sections used uh, in the column. You can see here. Here. Okay. Well, uh, let's start with the sap now i will model the same frame with the same area properties which you have just seen using the i section and uh, we, we will try to find this particular i section okay sap if you go to the sap because we have to make a new frame there are several ways some ways i have already explained in the class how you can import the different cad files you go to the new model and here you can select different options but if you want to model a frame from scratch you can select either the grid only or the blank i prefer the grid only and before selecting this option make sure that you are here with the proper set of units like kilo newton meter okay and then i go to the grids only now here you can you can define some arbitrary grids based upon uh, the spans for example if you see here you have like uh, 4 meter first high, uh, first base span the second base bc is 5 meter and then 4 meter the next one and same is the case with the height this height is 4 meter and the next height is the story height is 4 meter okay so I give in X direction because it is a, a uniform grid system. So at the beginning you can define the number of grid lines like 3, 4, 5 depending upon the case which you are dealing with. For example in this case I need like uh, in the X direction 1, 2, 3, 4. I need 4 grid lines in the X direction and I need uh, <coughs> at least 3 grid lines in the Z direction. 
because it is a 2D frame so there is no need for the many grid lines in the y direction uh, okay what is this x y z direction first let me explain you that x and y they are basically in the plan and z is in the elevation so it means if you have to give the more number of stories you have to give more number of grid lines in the z direction <coughs> i'm sorry okay so we have uh, like x uh, we have uh, four grid lines in the y you can make one or you can make two it's it's your choice well and in the z direction you can make three and you can give the uniform spacing the grid spacing like in the x direction you can give four we can later on we can change this spacing and in the y direction you can give the four or maybe any arbitrary value because we are basically modeling in the x and z direction so y is not so important for us in the z direction the story height is 4 meter okay so now and this is the location the first grid line you want to make from 0 0 and 0 okay so this is what uh, our grid line system here you can see in the 2d view x y plane and here you can see in the 3d view and you can move your views by these buttons from this button and from this button now you are at z is equal to 4 at this level and if you want to go at the base like z is equal to 0 you can just click here sorry uh, you can go to if, if this happens to you then you can go to the option and windows to tile vertically like this okay and then you can go more down and now you are at z is equal to zero okay and this is the elevation elevation is basically z and x so i just change uh, the view this is the plan view i change the plan from uh, x y to x z x z okay now you are in the elevation okay so these are the frame or the line elements and these are your grids but before i start with uh, with 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 the modeling i should edit my grid i go to the edit or you just click on the here on the right click and then click on the edit grid data and then click uh, on the modify or show system here now you can see that all your grids like a b c d they are at uniform spacing 0 4 8 12 and uh, you can either you can keep them as ordinates or you can keep uh, if you click here now it will be changed with spacing well if you keep the ordinates now your the first ordinate is zero this point a and then you can go to the b which is four meter c nine meter and d 13 meter from origin or from a point okay so where are the grids four and then nine and then 30 okay here is a problem in okay well uh, it is just some problem I cannot access the OK button in my computer. Okay, anyhow, <coughs> you can do it by this way. And there is some problem here. Still not. 